Hello Foundation students, this is a quick video summary of what we did on Monday 9-14 if you're in my third period or on Tuesday 9-15 if you are in my fifth and sixth periods. All right, we started with a quick review of what the new schedule looked like, so I just clicked on that and showed you how the schedule is going to work. And then I pointed out that we now have a new Start Here folder. This is now week two. Week one still exists, but now it's in the Completed Days Active Unit folder. So if you click into the Seattle unit, you can see week one. So if you missed anything during week one, you can find it right there. After that was done, we went into the new red folder and clicked on the... Uh, basically class activities and assignments page. This tells you what we do on a given day. And so in there, uh, I pointed out that if you haven't done the class intro survey yet, you should. And then uh, I went over how uh, or we showed and talked about these three short videos. Each one's about two and a half minutes. This one explains how latitude and longitude work, what they are, because people often forget. Uh, I showed you how to find latitude and longitude using Google Maps by putting a pin down and then just reading the map uh, pop-up that, that shows up. And then I showed this video, which shows how to measure distance on Google Maps so that you can get quick and extremely accurate measurements of distance from place to place. Once we'd seen these three videos and kind of took questions about them in the synchronous time, which took about 20 minutes, then everybody clicked on this assignment and this opened up an individual version of this assignment that uh, each student got and it's basically a worksheet that asks you to use the Google Maps information about latitude and longitude and uh, measuring distance, these two videos, to complete some stuff about Seattle, knowing where things are in the city, how far away from each other things are in the city. Uh, this was done basically during asynchronous time in the middle of the period. So for 20 minutes, it was synchronous, watching videos together, talking. Then there was 40 minutes of time where I put a timer on and everybody worked on this individually. I left the main meeting open and most people stayed in the main meeting and uh, sometimes people had questions or wanted me to show them something so this was kind of like question and answer time. So basically you did your worksheet like you would do in a normal class after the teacher set it up and I had the timer running so at the end of 40 minutes when everyone was done with this we went back to synchronous time and I kind of reviewed how this had worked, went over the schedule again, talked about what you had to do uh, by the next time the class met, which would be Thursday or Friday, depending on which period you're in. And then for homework, I assigned this reading with questions. So uh, basically, you just click on this thing. It opens up your own version of this assignment. And uh, the questions and the reading are all in one document. So you just answer the questions on the document. For both of these assignments, when you're done with them, uh, you need to submit them. So when you click on the assignment, it will open up another tab. Uh, I don't have one open because it's the teacher view, but it'll open another tab and you do your answers in that worksheet that shows up, Word document on the web that shows up. And then when you're done with it, you click back to the page, the, the Schoology page, and there'll be a submit button right about here. And you click on that and it submits. Uh, don't worry if you can't figure out how to submit. Even if you've opened and filled out the document, I can still look at it. But do try and submit it if you can figure out how, because that way I know you're actually done. Um, so same thing. This one we did in class, and then we talked about it a little bit, and then I assigned this one. This one is due by Thursday and Friday. That is what we did during the class. Thank you. Goodbye.